What happens when you pit Grease Pencil and Adobe After Effects against each other? Let's find out! I do think introductions are in line, so let's start with After Effects. This program is a bit of a do-it-all software, mainly used for compositing, visual effects, animation, motion graphics, among other things. If you have watched a music video or a movie, a TV show, and sometimes even animations, chances are it passed through After Effects. Its popularity stems from its sheer power and versatility, but also from being incredibly satisfying and relatively simple to understand. The customizable interface is very user-friendly, and the tools themselves, despite being numerous, are simple enough to understand once you start dabbling into the program proper. Now, it is equipped to the brim with a plethora of tools that allow you to mess around with video footage to an insane degree, from color grading and manipulation to insanely precise masking, which naturally would lead to some very convincing green screens, different layer modes and shape tools, pen tools, which the combination of can allow you to create motion graphics, rotoscoping, and to a certain extent frame by frame or puppet animation, although it's a lot more convoluted than using a proper animation software. Not to mention things like nesting compositions and pre-composing, track mats, pick whip, null layers, camera manipulation, graph editors, and so on and so forth. We can keep going for a literal age but we will both spare you the pain and would rather let you explore for yourself. The point here is if you are looking for a program to do any kind of post-production work and or video compositing with a splash of animated motion graphics then look no further as After Effects is indisputably the program for you. It has been and still is standard and leading program in its field. Moving straight along to our competitor here which isn't actually a program but an object within another program. Grease Pencil is Blender's way of including a built-in manner to do traditional 2D animation directly without requiring an extension. For this express purpose, this one tool has the equivalent of an entire interface that is easily accessible through the launch menu or a simple right-click. It includes a timeline that supports onion skinning, which is relevant if you would like to work with hand-drawn frames in draw mode, but you can let the CGI aspect of this program do the heavy lifting by rigging your drawings or 2D cutouts in weight paint. You can edit your anchor points individually in edit mode, or do the equivalent of liquefying entire sections with sculpt mode. This versatility isn't only limited to things you can do in other 3D programs, as Blender gives you the option of compositing, but also video editing, and you guessed it, visual effects. We won't dwell much on the many functionalities of Blender as this particular video is about a grease pencil, but essentially this program wants to be a one-stop shop for all your creative visual film needs, and it's honestly pretty capable in that regard, especially for an open source program. A jack of all trades, master of none sort of deal. But back to our offender here. Grease Pencil has managed to not only find a foothold in the 2D animation community, specifically when looking to blend, pun intended, between this latter medium with CGI backgrounds, but it has also managed to infiltrate the storyboarding and the concept art scenes, thanks to how much more efficient the inclusion of dynamic cameras, detailed texture rendering, and good physics and light engines can make the entire production process. All of this is great, but uh, are they worth the effort? <laughs> well, with great power comes a steep learning curve. The statement, the only limit is your imagination, has never been more relevant as with these two programs. After Effects in particular, despite doing its best to be as clear and legible as possible with its interface and tools, it can still take quite a while to completely wrap your head around what it can do. This is particularly due to the sheer amount of tools and features it possesses, but also to the limitless potential that the combination of all of these tools tools can do. So the word that is more appropriate to describe the feeling would be uh, overwhelming. On the other side, Grease Pencil's complications come in the form of actually being difficult to use, especially if you have never dabbled into a 3D program before, and the only experiences you had are with 2D ones. Blender as a whole is not very difficult to learn, and it was made with beginners in mind. The drastic shift in workflow, however, can still be, yet again, overwhelming. On a more positive note, we do live in the age of the internet where uh, you YouTube is a thing. Hello, hi. So there are tutorials aplenty on how to make the most of both programs, both free and paid. So much like everything, we encourage you to do your own research and more importantly to be patient with yourself. Since just like most things, the learning curve is like a snowball once it gets rolling. It won't take long to get the hang of them after you start and they only get easier as you go. Alright, this is where we get to the main course. 
First and foremost, the elephant in the room, Grease Pencil. It's a free jack-of-all-trades software. Who would ever say no to that? Other than being wallet-friendly, it is the perfect way of merging together the beautiful worlds of traditional animations on 3D backgrounds, which was an industry goal since the 90s, while still maintaining the boost in efficiency a 3D software provides. The fact that you have everything you might possibly need to create an animated scene in a single install in a variety of visual mediums is incredible enough, but this versatility comes at the cost of lack of mastery over certain features, as well as some bugs. It's not free from bugs. As for the other guy, you can get it for relatively, and I'm not using relatively lightly, a reasonable price. 20 ish US dollars per month if you are paying for it on its own, or 50 ish US dollars if you are getting it as part of the Adobe package. But we do realize that this can still be more than some people are willing to dish out, so we understand. There is also the fact that despite being somewhat manageable, 2D frame by frame animation is quite quite a headache and the program isn't optimized to handle it. What it is optimized to handle, however, is anything post-production, VFX, motion graphics, and to a certain extent, rotoscoping. It's very specialized, but once you grab it, or it grabs you, there is no letting go. And familiarity with the Adobe family will make the learning curve more manageable as they all operate under a similar design philosophy. Well, this is the time we would tell you which program is better, but honestly, I say why not both? You can very easily use After Effects to enhance any sort of animated work you have already made using Grease Pencil, and this trick is honestly more common than you would think within animation studios. That being said, the choice between the two will come down to exactly what you are looking to focus on and what you are looking to achieve. As for most things, Grease Pencil is perfect for illustrators, concept artists, storyboard artists, and animators that are especially looking to take advantage of light and physics engines and highly precise and dynamic camera work, along with all the advantages and sometimes complications that come with the 3D program. While After Effects is more in line with video editors and graphic designers, it is the best the industry has to offer for film, video, and motion graphics, but it is limited in terms of traditional animation, which is only natural since that is saved for its cousin, Adobe Animate. And this signals the end of that. We hope this video has provided you with the insight necessary to make your choice. Feel free to add to the discussion in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that fun stuff. Take care of yourself and each other, and we'll catch you soon. Bye!